Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about epinephrine, specifically epinephrine 1 to 1000, which is now more appropriately referred to um, as one milligram per ml. Um, excuse you. So I have a little vial here. You may be able to see it. It's, uh, it says one milligram per ml on it. They usually come in little vials like this, but sometimes you see it in the bigger tanker, um, sometimes of 30 milligrams, but it's still one milligram per ml of drug. So what do we use this for? Um, so let's start at the BLS level, but this is also applicable for ALS as well. This is our number one life-saving drug when it comes to anaphylaxis. So remember there's two things that kill people in anaphylaxis. Um, the first is hypoperfusion. So that histamine release causes vasodilation that causes a distributive shock. Um, and the second thing is airway constriction, whether that's from upper airway constriction or bronchospasm in the lower airways. Epinephrine solves both of those problems. Um, it's an alpha agonist, which means it squeezes the tank, causes vasoconstriction, and helps us perfuse better. It's also a beta-2 agonist, so it will help with um, bronchospasm in the lungs. Those alpha properties will also help with vasoconstriction when it comes to laryngeal edema, swelling in the upper airway, um, but again, will also help bronchodilate if there's wheezing in the lungs. So that brings me to my next point that this can also be a life-saving drug when it comes to status asthmaticus, right? Because sometimes our patients are so clamped down that you may actually hear a silent chest, right? Which is super ominous. If they have so little blood flow, um, excuse me, so little airflow that you can't even hear wheezing anymore, that's a bad day, right? So if you give that patient a nebulizer treatment, even if you try to bag it in, um, there's likely not even enough space available in there for their lungs to use the drug. So by giving the exact same dose, usually 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams of epi, one milligram per ml um, IM, that will help open up those patients from the inside out. Um, next, this is how we mix our epi drips pre-hospitally, right? Um, so the first epi drip that's common per ACLS is our bradycardia epi drip. So as a reminder, that's only when our patients are unstable, right? We can pace them or we can start an epi drip. Um, the epi drip is two to 10 mics per minute, not weight based. So that can be mixed um, with one or two milligrams of this in a 250 ml bag. Um, and you can do your math from there. Um, but again, there's multiple ways to do these drips as long as you know your calculations and what concentration you've made, um, that's perfectly fine. Um, the other common drip we make with this is um, our ROSC, post ROSC hypotension drip or just general hypotension drip, which is 0.1 to 0.5 mics per kilogram um, per minute. So a common mix for that is putting four milligrams of this in a 250 ml bag, which makes a 16 mic per ml concentration. It's pretty adequate for most adults, but again, there's multiple ways to do this. There's no right or wrong answer as long as you know um, what the math is that you've made. Finally, um, you can use this to make push dose epi. Um, I think probably most of us are more familiar with using a code epi to do that, which is one milligram and 10 mLs. Um, but you can put this in a 100 ml bag, which gives you one milligram or 1,000 micrograms in 100 mLs, which equals 10 mics per mL which is the exact same concentration that we want our push dose epi to be. So if you draw that out of your bag into a 10 cc syringe, that gives you a nice little push dose epi. And then if you need to follow it up with a drip, then you already have a 10 mic per ml concentration made that you can use um, for a drip as well. Um, so those are the basic uses for this. Um, if you guys want me to do a video going over how to make epi drips, I'm happy to do that. Um, I have at least one, if not two, Instagram posts on it. Um, I know some people love the clock method, some people hate it. I love it. Um, I'm happy to teach it on here if that would be helpful. Um, just leave it in the comments, comment your questions, and we'll see you next time.